My name is Grace, and in this video, I'm going to talk about inquiry-based learning. In my seventh grade geography class, we are learning about the religions of the Middle East, and through the five pillars of Islam, my students are going to do some further inquiry-based learning. In my seventh grade class, I find that my students really aren't that good at inquiring or have no exposure to it at all. And not only in my seventh grade class, but in other classes, you know, if you have asked kids, you know, do you have any questions, you'll often get blank stares. So I think a lot of this is because students don't know how to inquire or they lack confidence to inquire. So one of the things that I try to do is use their strengths to help them build confidence and the desire to inquire. If a student is confident and feels like they're good at what they're doing, they'll be more willing to take risks and ask questions and delve deeper into whatever topic it is that they have at hand. Through this task, my students were encouraged to inquire based on a differentiated teaching lesson. So each student chose their station based on what they were interested in or what they thought their strength was. And in this task, each group had to make a different product, but every product they had to inquire or learn more about each pillar of Islam. So they were doing something that they were good at, and through doing something that they were good at, they were more encouraged to inquire and know more about each pillar. So some advantages of doing this kind of assignment is that the students learn how to inquire. They learn how to ask questions and what kind of questions they need to ask. They also gain confidence in asking questions. By doing something they're good at, they are going to be more confident to ask questions about how to improve something that they already know they're good at. And they also see an advantage in asking questions, so an advantage inquiry. They know that if you ask more questions, you're going to learn more about the topic, you're going to give a better quality of output, and they're going to learn more about that topic because they're interested in it. Something you need to be careful about when doing this kind of assignment is trusting the process. You cannot expect the students to complete it the way that you would complete it. Or you cannot expect them to go through the process the way that you would go through the process. Because the point of inquiry-based learning is that they're learning at their own individual level. So whatever questions and whatever process they need to do to get to the end, they have to take those steps and they have to ask those questions and they have to make those mistakes. And through doing that, they're going to eventually learn whatever it is you know you wanted them to learn and they're also going to create something that they should be proud of. Overall, this day of teaching is a lot of fun. The students are having fun, they're learning how to ask questions, they're learning what kind of questions that they need to ask. And for me, it's a lot of fun too because I can see the students surprise me. They come up with questions I would never expect them to ask they come up with solutions, they come up with ideas that I would never expect them to come up with. And this is all because they were given the opportunity to explore and ask questions about the topic. <laughs> 